Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One and Only, and welcome to Luna Chronicle R. Now, before you guys talk about anything about the face cam or anything, uh, I kind of forgot to charge my lights today, so yeah, this time we're doing it without face cam. But let's get into it. I'm gonna spend like 15 minutes or so showing you guys the game. Um, first things first, we got a few summons too. I've been saving up a lot just for this video. I knew it was gonna suck, but yeah. Here's all my rewards I forgot to claim. Jeez. And we also got a summoning ticket for logging in. Now this game has pretty similar combat to Wonder Tactics, if you guys have ever played that. I will show you guys the playstyle of it right now. Where you're supposed to put your characters in a certain slot and they would do like... Well, they're, they're kind of like auto-attacking certain enemies. You can't actually choose who they attack. That's the only annoying part about this game. Um, there are a lot of unique characters as well. I'll just show you guys the playstyle. You can auto or you don't have to. Depending on where you put your characters is what buff you actually get from a formation you have. And it's also kind of reminds you of, um, what was it, Summoner Wars a little bit too? There we go. So I was able to actually, uh, Done them. That's a single attack, which I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna use this instead. There is like some little static noise, if you guys can hear that. It's like weird on this game, I I guess. Yeah, the auto the audio in this game is kinda kind of a rough, you know, beginning to them, but yeah. If anything, most people don't even play with the audio music or anything going on. Most of us just play with our games without music. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much the gameplay. It's very straightforward. I'll show you guys a little bit more. Um, PvP is actually the same, but yeah, you're fighting other people like weird teams. I have not done this in a while, so I should probably put in a new formation. As you can see, I get no bonuses until I actually put in something. I'm going to take the counter, just because that's my strongest uh, formation. Well, who am I going to put in? What do you look like? Huh, you look interesting. What skills do you have? So she has a high chance of bleed damage and high chance of poison, well, low chance of poison actually. And she increases the party's attack. So the passives are party passives for each character. Well, most of them are. I think one of these are just to one character. I can't remember which one it was. That's defense to all. I don't remember which one. I think I've seen one that had single target. Alright, where are my other characters I was going to bring in? There's the healer. Let me do this. Diagonal. Now I got defense. Or I can put it in the middle, and then I'll get attack. There isn't a way to get all three, which really does suck. But, I can get attack and defense. I'm gonna switch that out. Um, yeah, this is fine. Who do I want to challenge? I'm gonna challenge you. See how this goes. So, Arena is auto. Not 
obviously is going to be easy since I'm like real low rank. So this is also another under the radar game. Not many people know about it. I've been finding a lot of them lately. Let's do one more. Hopefully this guy is a lot tougher. This game also reminds me of Seven Night a little bit too. Actually, yeah, that's exactly what it reminds me of the Seven Night. Just with a different, like, somewhat formation. I mean, you still level up your formations. They still, um... Yeah, they have the cards that are kind of close to Seven Nights as well. And where are the heroes? The collections? Yeah, they have special units. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, they don't have seven like Seven Knight does. But they do have the um, Moonlight Knights, which are basically, it sounds like they're really close to the Seven Knights. Man. I mean, I've seen a lot of games with... Oh, I've seen a lot of games that seem like they are inspired by Seven Knights. So I do have login rewards that I can go ahead and grab now. Hollow Partner just gives you like a random reward. You're not allowed to pick from it, sadly. It's just whatever it gives you. Like I would have preferred to have the gold, but yeah. Alright, let's get this summoning on the way. Let's get this out of the way first. Just so we don't have to deal with that. There's also gear summoning. But I'm more interested in characters at the moment. So let's do that. All these summons... All these summons are going to be characters. Anything special that happens? If I get something like really good? Ooh. Who are you? Just normal three star. Natural three. Something that can go to six. Another natural three. Her shield looks cool though. She looks kind of sick. Oh my god, it's Harambe. <laughs> Next. Oh, the same one. Now oh, that thing looks weird. Alright, time for the special ones. Oh, I don't have her. Oh my god, it's a fencing cat. Put some boots. Oh, got a, a five, and she's a healer, so I can actually replace my healer now, finally. Oh, I got her again. Sweet. Actually, is actually really good. I enjoy her. Not sure what this one does. Heals, uh, what else? Oh, increases damage. Okay, that's good. Decreases attack and defense of enemies. Alright, I'm actually going to use her. I play this game now and then, but not like extremely often. Alright. Let's get the low ones out of the way. Alright, three star. I wish I could, like, turn him around. Okay, there he is. Actually, he looks pretty cool. Definitely like the little helmet. 
Too bad he's useless. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of like her design. Definitely like her art. That umbrella is not as big as the one that's here. I think that umbrella size needs to be increased a little bit just to match this. I don't know. Maybe she can make it larger. I don't know. <laughs> just seems really off. Oh, another one. That one's just three star. Uh, another one of those. And again. We're getting a lot of teddies. And a lot of the. Why? Stop it, game. Stop giving me those. Oh, she looks cool. Nice. She really doesn't match her picture, though. That's the really weird part. She has a high chance of freezing one target for two turns. And a low chance of freezing target for two turns. You would think Blizzard would hit everyone instead of just one person. That doesn't really make sense. But okay. Resistance to odd normal effects. Hmm. I need to look at her a little bit closer later. <laughs> what can you do? Oh, so you have life still. Increases everybody's attack by 50%. Okay, this guy could actually be really good for buffing the team. And plus, he also gets more HP. So, see, yeah, there are some skills that aren't group. Most of them are group effects. Some of them are just, you know, single effect to that monster. Ah, perfect. Hey, like I said, I've always been a fan of pirates. <laughs> so that's great for me. What can she do? High chance of, oh, electrocuting. Oh, that's one target. Uh, what about this one? Oh, that does nothing. Doesn't have an effect to it. Oh, so she can, her normal attacks have a chance of like electrifying. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Like, every normal tank just is better than just using this. This is a, also a single target, but it, I, I feel like there's no reason to use this. We could just normal attack and have a chance to just electrocute somebody and stun them for a while. Doesn't say how long it's going to, so I'm guessing it's like one round. And this neutrifies the enemy's resistance. Okay, that's actually. Yeah, she's actually really good. Alright, last one, guys. Oh, we got five this time. That dance, though. <laughs> there, there's obviously a lot more to the game. I'm gonna show off just a little tiny bit more. Alright. Doom. On to see you again. You, he looks like a um, World of Warcraft character. Oh, it's her again. I was hoping I'd get a five at least. Alright, who is this? Hmm. 
He reminds me of a few characters I've seen before. But not exactly like it. Oh, who's this? I definitely want to figure out what she does. Oh, another one? Really? If you can at least give me like a five star, that'd be nice. Okay, so I got another teddy. Jesus. I keep getting a whole bunch of this and this. Like, jeez. Alright, what can you do? Decrease the uh, enemy's attack by 70%. That seems like a whole bunch, especially with the um, party effects going on. If it was actually like that, if I had... Well, if they were actually going by exact percentage... If I had 30% down and this could add 70, then he would just be doing barely any damage. But I'm pretty sure they don't go by that percentage. I'm pretty sure they go by somewhat, um, I don't think it just, let's just say, I don't think it's just going to take down by much. I think at this point, if you were using this. As their attack, it'll probably just take down at least exactly 70. It'll probably be just doing that much. Oh, increases the defense of all by 100%. Alright, this guy is pretty decent. Oh, and he's actually quite the tank as well. Right, he's not that bad. Definitely not have bad. Alright, you. You just reminded me of Little Red Riding Hood, so I was just like, eh, maybe she has something to do with wolves. She kind of does. Alright, so she's more of a debuffer, if anything. Takes down defense, takes down damage. I have no idea what's the difference between damage or attack on this game or inflicting damage. I have no idea. Maybe somebody in the comments who actually plays this game extremely often can tell you that part. But overall, we got some pretty amazing um, allies. Now and then when I play the game, I'll level them up. But, like I said, I don't play the game, like, really often. I just play it whenever I get bored or get in the mood to play it. But, yeah, before I end off the video, here is your dungeon where you get all the evolution material and all the XP material. You can change the difficulties. It goes up to hard. That's it. Um, Adventure has tower, where you can just go up the tower, get rewards. They have the normal story quest. The story, the story doesn't really interest me all that much. Um, then they have Burning Tower, which is pretty much like they pretty much have like that uh, weird style of what was it? Road to Glory, where you suppose to fight through other players to get to here, but you can only do it once a day for this game, which is actually pretty weird. Uh, here's a player we can fight. Jesus, she's taller than everybody else, isn't she? Yeah, she's taller by a couple inches. And... Wait, no. Hold on. Oh my god, I got four of her right now. Actually, I'll start using her. Why not? And I'll just use him as a tank for now on. I mean, she's 16. That's all she is. So I can... So I can easily probably take her out. Um... Oh! Actually... I think they actually do go off percentage. How much does mine do? 
Yeah, I believe they do go off percentage, or either she doesn't have any gears. Most games never go off percentage, let's just say that. Alright, got my first chest, and your job is to complete this puzzle. You know, complete all the puzzles, and then you get the rewards from them. Now I gotta wait into each Monday. That's that's kind of a weird like progression here. I guess it does keep people from getting the uh, Moonlight Knights, which are pretty much the strongest units in the game. There you come over here and get your rewards. I love getting rewards. Um, let's go back to collection. So all of these. And you start getting rewards for how much you fill up your collection by. Which is actually pretty nice that you have some kind of progress for your collection. Then you got the adventurers, which I didn't get many of. I got some old forest. Where is the um, pirate from? I get a lot of her. Yeah, she still looks nothing like... I don't get why people don't do the models like they get the art style. Maybe it's censored? I'm guessing it's censored. Well, actually... Not much of censoring if you kind of have this hanging out, you know? So... Why... Give her... Well, actually, does she have that exact design? No, she doesn't. Because this one has like... Yeah, that's kind of a weird choice. Not making your characters like you actually does. This one has glasses. She doesn't have any glasses. She And plus, she doesn't look anything like this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about this game, to be honest. But if you can look past that, then you're just fine. <laughs> just try out the game. But give it a try either way it goes. It is actually pretty interesting in a way. Um, there aren't like extreme amount of characters, but there are quite a few. Oh, there she is. Yeah, her hair is kind of like the messy. Hers is... Kind of messy in the back instead of the front as well. Hmm. Plus it's like in a straight... Okay, yeah. I, I, well, this game is under the radar, so they kind of probably have a budget or something. More than likely. But, yeah guys, hope you enjoyed. Try the game yourself. And I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace out.